What's up guys, this is your boy Sacropanda here, and I'm going to be starting up a build series in Ark uh, Survival Evolved for the PS4, uh, mainly because uh, I love indie games, I love uh, free, to, like, free roam kind of builder games. Um, I've actually had Ark for a little while, I've played it for a bit, it's a lot of fun. Um, the taming aspect is pretty cool, uh, but I recently... Notice that they updated the game, so whereas all, like, the creative mode um, game commands were now added. So I was like, yo, I'm going to start doing some interesting builds. Kind of see how much we can do to the map. Uh, <laughs> and possibly possibly see how much stuff we can spawn in to break the map. Um, but yeah, the first thing I'm going to start to do right now... And this is, this is, like, I'm on a basic island. I'm not doing anything too serious right now, but... I'm just going to try to build a dope base. So, yeah. Uh, cool. Hope you guys like it. First things we need to do, guys, is just find a place to build. And I kind of found this place off to, and if I show it real fast, we're on the far left side of the map. Um, it's kind of hard to see because of the bloom. There it is. We're on the far left side of the map. Uh, we're kind of near this kind of like little waterway here. If I put away the map. I'm actually going to build up here because it's relatively flat. I'm um, just going to clear some of these trees and stuff, and then we'll start building. I'm going to try to build random-ass honking car. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to build in mostly the tech stuff, and I thought that was a T-Rex for a second. Also, forgive my character who is zipping around every which way. Um, I, I made a mistake in this game. Obviously, we're in creative guys and, and leveling and stuff. I put everything into this dude's sprint. And I up sprint speed, so I'm going to have to lower that because I feel like I'm going to be zipping around way too much. Um, but yeah, one sec. Alright, so as I get started building, I'm, I, I kind of like to build with more of a purpose in mind. Like, if I'm thinking of how I'd be using my structure. I don't want to just make a giant cube, guys, with everything loaded inside because you can do that normally in game. Like, I want to actually make uh, smaller structures that are connected with more purpose. So what I'm trying to do now is, I was thinking, you know, if you actually have a base, what you would end up trying to do is making, like, um, a lookout, right? So a little lookout that you can put together, and so guys would come up, you would have, like, a watch, and then you could just build this as a structure. Now, I am going to try to make it, I did not mean to do that, um... Yeah, so I'm going to try to make it so it's stacked kind of as neatly as I can make it. Uh, obviously, you know, this game with textures, you know, things tend to uh, get a little bit out of place, which is fine. I'm not too mad about that. Um, but I was thinking I'd make it like a solid cube, right? Like a solid little 3x3 three three grid. Uh, that should be more than enough. But, you know, keeping into the fact that it's a watch, I was actually going to use... No, not, not that. There you go. I was actually going to use some of these ceiling pan panels um, to extend over the cliff. Because my idea is, like, you're going to look out to see if people are coming this way. Like, we have the high ground, so we would want to keep that. So, you know, if you're an archer up here, you could look down sight and see all along, you know, where people would be coming from. And then shoot them. So that's the idea, anyways. Uh, I also still have... How do I get to that again? walls all right so i definitely want to have the plain walls on the back here and like i said guys uh my plan is to make that's the wrong button my plan is to make it so it's like this is going to be really nice like i'm i'm expecting that you know i've been here for a while so things are going to just keep getting nicer and nicer but i'm not going to show you all the building because i know that's going to get kind of boring but i'm just going to go ahead and build it now and then we're going to come back and i'm going to explore a little bit of that and talk about some of the next structures I'll be putting together. Alright guys, I've finished my little outlook here. Uh, I'm calling it the Watchtower. Uh, and right now, the only purpose of this building, as I talked about before, was to kind of be used as a protection for what will later be my ultimate base for Ark. Uh, so, let me take you guys inside. Uh, the first thing you'll notice, and please excuse the rain, I understand that my audio might be a little bit muffled because of it, uh, is that I'm using all of the, the tech uh, tier paneling stuff, and, and the goddamn bloom on these, on the, the reflectiveness of this metal is, is horrible, guys. But I'm going to start with the outside. 
uh, go some fly around a little bit. So the first thing you'll notice is the base is a little bit blocky, and I know I said I didn't want that, um, but uh, this whole game kind of keeps to a, a pretty blocky build, so I, I kind of got over that. Uh, yes, the rain stopped. Um, but I decided to, that I was not only going to work on the interior, but also the exterior. And I'm making everything so it would be realistically functional. Uh, so what I did is I actually have a water tank out here, uh, which obviously, you know, if you're thinking of like, this would be more of like a military installment, uh, you would have, you know, reserves of like water, um, you know, some kind of like more industrial type stuff around less, you know, beautified for, for the mass population, you would have something that's a little bit more industrial. So I got the water pump out here with a ramp leading up to that, and I got metal railings leading all around it. Uh, this whole idea is that there's safety and, you know, functionality. So they have their own little spot for that in case that breaks down and someone needs to go fix it. Uh, same on this side. I also have put in, and I know this looks a little bit weird, that I have a transmitter on the outside. Now, the transmitter is, the whole idea is that if this is a military installment, it's very important for you to get signals to and from uh, people inside the base. Obviously, I know walkie-talkies are in the game, and say if I'm playing on this server with some other people, we can just talk through chat. But, like I said, I wanted things to be a little bit more realistic. So I had the transmitter on the outside of the base, and I kind of just made it its own little platform. Uh, the only thing I did differently on this one because of the terrain is I made a ladder leading up. Uh, most of the time, they probably won't need to come out here if you're thinking of, like, they'd only have to really need to tamper with it to fix it. Uh, but once again, I just kind of layered the outside of it with, um, with railings. Now, the only other thing I'll show about the outside, and I, and I really don't like flight in this, guys, um, is that I put a force field generator on the top. Now, um, I wasn't so sure about using this, and I might put a couple more just as to fill it up, um, but obviously, guys, this is something that, uh, I mean, come on, it, it's in the game, and if you're trying to protect this, like, this is probably going to be, like, one of the first places hit if people are invading. Uh, you'd want some kind of defenses, and this is probably the best defense in the game. Uh, now I'm going to take you guys inside. Uh, we're losing natural light, and I actually haven't powered everything yet, so I want I don't want to lose that. Uh, so obviously all the tech stuff kind of has this weird, you know, uh, hexagonal uh, kind of like poured in and out thing, and the sound gets really annoying after a while. Uh, but this is the inside. Now you're going to notice right off the bat, it's pretty damn minimalistic. Uh, and that was all done on purpose. Like, this wasn't supposed to be, you know, really luxurious uh, it was meant to be a place where people would be looking out for the rest of the civilization. Uh, so all I really did to this was I threw in, and they don't really have nicer furnishing guys. This is pretty much it when it comes to, like, table and chairs. But I threw in a couple of chairs and a table uh, and a bench just to kind of make it like, you know, if these guys were relaxing or if they were just, like, having a meeting, this is where they would do it. Uh, I threw the map of the region up here because obviously, you know, we might be on this uh, quadrant 60-20, if you guys can see that, going over 60 up 20. We might be over in this quadrant, or probably more like 50-20, but anyways. Um, so we're, even though we're in this quadrant here, you know, you would still want to have some kind of map to show, like, where the rest of, like, the, the island is like, the different zones. I mean, it just makes sense for information purposes. Uh, I did end up sticking a power generator in the corner. Now, obviously, I know there's a tech generator, which is a lot more efficient in-game, but I really didn't like the look of it overall because it didn't look as industrial as I wanted. This obviously has the big wheel that will, you know, when it's actually powered, will be cranking out. And I was thinking, like, you know, this is something where um, if it broke down, you know, you'd ideally see someone trying to fix it to get the power back on. So that's actually why it's also inside. Uh, I didn't want to place it outside because this being more of a electric generator, uh, which actually is the electric power generator in the game, uh, you would actually want to keep it away from the elements. Uh, now, I did use the tech uh, spiral staircase uh, as my staircase, and what you'll notice is I made a second floor, but I left it open. Unlike the bottom, which is kind of closed off, there's this huge opening here uh, for ma one main reason, which is this is where you'd mostly be looking out trying to see this. So I put some catwalks out here, but we really don't have access to them via this rail. 
Uh, obviously, you probably could jump over them uh, in real life. And I just realized that these don't match up perfectly, so I'm going to try to not have that bother me too much. But yeah, no. So I put this open out here, so it's like, you know, this is where you would be. Uh, let's say if you had, I'm just going to throw open a... You know, this is not the gun you would use in this situation, but if you saw someone coming in, you know, this is where you would kind of be scoping them out, and you kind of have this really nice, you know, 110, 120 degree viewpoint of a coastline of, let's say, invading sport forces. You'd also be able to see up in the air for any aircrafts or, let's say, dinos, because we are in the arc, arc world. Um, also, we, we're on a, a ledge, guys. We're on a ledge, so that's one of the things. Also, yeah, you'll notice that um, the, the the whole under part of this looks kind of weird. Uh, I kind of wanted to give it a kind of hexagonal shape because most of the text stuff does have a hexagonal shape. Um, also, this was to mainly this weird little column here was to hide the support column that's behind it, and I just kind of didn't like how it looked, uh, so I kind of hit it with um, some wall paneling. But let me get it back inside this. All right, the next thing you guys will notice, uh, and I really didn't do much to try to hide this, but I can. I was thinking about maybe adding a door to this, was I added the bunk beds here in the corner. Um, because, you know, even if you're here, you might be here late at night, or you might be taking different shifts. Uh, so you'd want a place to kind of rest if you got a little bit tired. Um, so we put some bunk beds, but it's not like it's a home. It's not like it's barracks. So this is really just meant for, like, naps, uh, if you just need to take a quick rest. Uh, I ended up using these um, these little tech lights everywhere because you can stick them to any wall and they really did look pretty shopped to me, which is like mostly mechanical. Um, and the whole idea is that it's like they're kind of everywhere, uh, even like, you know, really close to sleeping areas because the whole idea is that you're not supposed to be lounging here. This is a place of like, you know, it's, it's work. Um, now, obviously, I know this looks really weird in terms of the texturing, but I did this for a reason. So behind this little, you know, these two doors here, and I used two doors for this, uh, is a vault. Now, I was trying to figure out how to put an armory in the game uh, as, like, you know, if you actually did see invading forces coming your way, you would want to make sure that you were able to go get uh, some weaponry and some armor. So I kind of did this. So I, I, I took the vault and I moved it a little bit closer than it should be to this front line here and I use the doors as a way to kind of seal um, seal the vault in there because I don't really like how the vault looks but now this way when you walk up to it it kind of reveals itself and then you can access it and inside you know we have you know assault rifle sniper rifle and a couple different uh, armors in here just I put a couple things in here just to kind of be placeholder so you guys can kind of picture it um, but I thought that was kind of an idea, like, you know, if something's happening, alarms are going off, you would come out here, you would grab your weapon, and then you would come out here and kind of defend as best as you could. Um, and I also I put a refrigerator over here because, obviously, people who are here are going to eat. Um, you know, I was thinking more of, like, rations, which are, are usually, you know, don't need to be cooked. They can be heated up, but a lot of times can just be eaten cold. Uh, once again, we have the light just up in the corner. It let more inconvenient in terms of light source, but it would definitely get light to go everywhere. Um, yeah, so I mean, this has kind of been the Watchtower, guys. It's it's obviously I know it leaves a lot to be desired in terms of you'd kind of think it to be more extravagant. But like I said, I'm trying to leave majority of this stuff. And oh god, that's bright. I'm trying to leave majority of this stuff to be more functional uh, as I build through this small city that I'm going to have. Um, now, I'm not going to try to blanket the entire map with, you know, with structures, but I definitely want, at least for this, the, a large part of this area here, to be kind of like a miniature city. Um, if I can, sorry, let me get back in the air like a miniature city and I and this is kind of where I'm starting with things so this is my watchtower guys um I'm probably going to add a couple more furnishings to it later on uh, obviously I know there's like turrets in the game I could definitely have added turrets but I kept telling myself that you know I'm thinking of like if this place was used by people so this is my entire mindset um so yeah I kind of I kind of had fun building this it took me a little bit longer than I was hoping for just because uh, I kept having to throw, like, support beams in places to make things work. But overall, I had a whole bunch of fun with this. 
Uh, and I just realized it was getting dark when I walked into there, and now it's back to daylight. I think I have it on as always daylight cycle, which is was smart of me. Um, but yeah, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know uh, I, don't, I haven't done a lot of stuff like this on my channel, but I'm going to do more of it because it's stuff that I enjoy doing. Um, and especially because, you know, I have the time to, a little bit more time now. But uh, comment down below what structure you'd like to see me build next. I have a couple ideas. I was thinking of either building a house, uh, a barracks, or maybe a laboratory. Because I'm thinking, you know, we are in this where world with dinosaurs and different resources and we kind of have all this really crazy tech uh tech stuff like force fields like you would kind of have a research lab so maybe i'll do a a research lab next um but yeah guys let me know what you want to see next time i got a lot of ideas for stuff i could do um and so i'll i will take that into advisement but yeah so this has been art guys uh this is going to be my creative structure building series uh, so look forward to episode two, hopefully dropping sometime in the next week. Uh, just because obviously I need, I still need to record and edit and all that good stuff. So, uh, keep an eye out for that and keep an eye out for the vlogs guys. The vlogs are, are still coming. Uh, don't get discouraged, even though it takes me a little bit of time to edit. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this and please go check out one of my other videos. Peace. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Of course. Peace.